Hey guys, how you doing? This is Juan with Liberty Graphic Designs. Today we're going to attempt to screen print this uh, canvas shoe. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to, how to do it real quick. Okay? So, actually let's get right to it. Uh, yesterday I made a jig for the uh, for the shoe. You know, because they don't, they don't sell one for the shoe. So I made me a little jig. So I can put the logo right here on the shoe and on the side. And I'll show you real quick. We're going to use water-based inks for this. And I'm, for the water base, I'm going to use NASDAR. There you go. Can you see it? Yeah, right there. I'm using NASDAR. Um, ready for use. Red. And i never done shoes this way. We actually, I, I've done them with, uh, with vinyl. But I never screen printed, so there's a very good possibility that I'm going uh, I'm, to uh, ruin them. So stay tuned, and I'll show you real quick. I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see um, the... I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see when we screen print them. Cool? So white shoes, and we're going to put red, red logo on the front, and then the name right here on the side. Cool? Okay, so let's get some of these ink um in the um in the screen this is the first time i'm gonna open this this container so you know how it goes you always get ink on your fingers i guess the good thing is that this is water based Clean my hand real quick. And I'm not gonna use a lot, or I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna use a lot of ink because this is a small job. It's only a pair of shoes. I'm doing this for a friend of mine. Basically, I'm just doing it for the video, and also because I wanted to do water base. I want to see what it's what it's gonna look like. So normally on water base you want to put a plenty of ink because you don't want your screen to be dry. But I'm just going to use a little bit. And I'm using a 70 durometer squeegee. And here it goes. I'm going to flat the screen. Hopefully I got a good print. No. There you go. There's the first one. And this one I'm not gonna run it through the through the conveyor. Cause there's a lot of plastic on the shoe. And I'm afraid that if I run it through the conveyor, it's gonna burn or it might work or something so this one I'm gonna dry it by hand or with the with the uh, I'm gonna dry it with the heat gun so I don't want to run it through the conveyor so let's do shoe number two again this is only a pair of shoes just just two of them so I'm not too worried about making the jig or or having a registration because it's only two if it was a big a big run then then yeah but it's only it's only two so there you go again we're going to use a heat gun and i'm going to swap over to the other jig that one was for the side and I'll show you in a little bit how I made these jigs. I'm gonna run a, a quick time lapse on how I made this, these two jigs. So you'll see it real quick, how I cut them, and then uh, you'll, you'll see the whole thing. But it's gonna be on a time lapse. And on this one, if you notice, the jig has a contour because I want the shoe to go in. 
and grab the same contour as the shoe because I want it or when you know how when you screen print it has to lay flat that's why I put a contour on, contour on that put a little spray adhesive so it'll stick And I noticed that this squeegee, I think it would have worked better if the squeegee would have been like a, maybe like an 80. Because this one, like the bottom of it, it didn't really come out okay. So let's do the second shoe. Hey, you know, I want to do some screen printing on those shoes. Let's see what that looks like. Still needs a little more. Nah, that'll work. There you go. Oops, <laughs> there you go. So I just dry real quick. Bueno, uh, si alguno de ustedes este, quiere mirar uno de mis videos en español, por favor uh, pon tu comentario y, este, y puedo hacer unos videos en español. Si quieres ver algo, cómo lo hacemos y no entiendes bien, uh, este, ponlo ahí y hacemos un video en español. If anybody wants to see one of these um, videos in Spanish, um, that's what I was just saying. Uh, comment below and I can translate, not translate, but I can make another video in Spanish. That way you can better understand. I know I have a thick accent, <laughs> no, but I don't have an accent in Spanish. That's my first language. So, peace out. It's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to do these videos for you guys. I hope it, it, it helps a lot for you guys. If you want to see some other videos, if you want to see something else, just comment below. Let me know. Hey, I want to see a video about this. Um, I work entirely from home, so if you want to see my setup, just drop me a line below and let me know, hey, can you show me your setup? I'm trying to start my own business. Uh, can you show me how you do it? And I, and I will make a video entirely on how my setup is at home. Okay? So, de nuevo, 
Este, si quieres ver cómo lo hago, yo hago todo de mi casa. Si quieres mirar cómo tengo yo todo el setup en la casa, a, 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 ponme un comentario y déjame saber qué quieres mirar el video en español. Gracias. Es un placer hacer este video para ustedes. Like I always say, it's a pleasure to make videos for you guys. I hope you like them. Hit like, subscribe, and ding the little bell, okay? So, see you on the ne next video.